everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Africa Harrigan, and today we will be doing a double unboxing. Louis Vuitton double unboxing. So here is the gigantic bag. I went shopping earlier today and I was really going just from one item and then I saw something else and I was like, I have to have that too. Anyway, so I'll give you the backstory as we go along in the video, but let's get started with the unboxing. So again, this is the bag. It's really huge. And inside, if you look inside, you'll see both boxes inside. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bigger box. And in here, this is what the box looked like. Yay! So I'll just go ahead and start um, taking off the ribbon. And I don't know if you'll be able to guess this because I don't even think this was on my wish list. However, when I went to the Louis Vuitton store, I was like, listen, I have to have this one too. <laughs> and decided to just add this particular purse to my collection. So what kind of box is this? No. Okay, so this is with the magnetic closure and it opens up like that. And inside you'll see the purse waiting for me. So, okay, let's go ahead and open it again. Because it's huge. And here we have the bag in a dust bag. Remember to always keep your items inside of the dust bag because it protects the purse. And it helps to keep things really, really neat and all the dust off. So, open it up. Let's see. It's the Louis Vuitton Never Full in the MM size in the Dalmier Eben print. Now, I know I am a uh, monogram lover. And you will probably think that my next uh, Never Full would have been a monogram. However, I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the Dalmier Eben print. And instead of getting it in the GM size, which I absolutely absolutely love. I love that size and I use um, my Damier Azure print bag for everything and under the sun. <laughs> so pretty much with the Damier Eben, I decided to downsize a little bit just so that I can have the option of a larger purse or a medium sized purse. So let's go over the aesthetics of the piece. The Louis Vuitton Neverfull and Damier Eben print of course features the gorgeous stitching. It's impeccable by the way. Of course, we have the little decorative tabs there, <clears throat> excuse me. And when you turn it around, it's pretty much identical and it's in the same exact location. Of course, we have the Louis Vuitton logo in here and here and here and two more over there. And when you turn the bag around, everything is identically in the same exact location again. So of course, this is definitely not Vachetta. So this is the leather coated leathering handles. And when you go inside, you'll see the gorgeous red interior. I know that this purse also comes in the Rose Ballerine, with the Rose Ballerine interior, but considering that I have the Damier Azur in Rose Ballerine, the Never Full GM, I said, you know what, I'll just go ahead and get red instead. So the red is absolutely gorgeous. It's stunning. And I love it against the Damier even deep dark chocolate. So inside, of course, you know the Neverfull will come with the Neverfull pouch, beautiful zipper. And I really and truly love this because I find that I've used this pouch, not this pouch um, particularly, but the one the Neverfull in, in the GM size. I've used the pouch for numerous purposes. And this will probably end up being used the same way. I already filmed a video on that. So if you missed it, I'll just go ahead and just link it up above so that you can check that video out on the Louis Vuitton Neverfull pouch. So here we go inside it has a zipper and it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. It doesn't really matter to me if it's made in France or not, but it's always really cool when you have an item that is made in France. So in here you have the, the hook, of course you know that it doesn't have a zipper so you can hook it together like that to close it. And you can even go ahead and cinch the sides in because it's brand spanking new. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to achieve that look right now. Mm, no, it's, it's like way too stiff for me to even try. So then when you go inside here, you'll see the gorgeous pocket, it's only one pocket. And it says Louis Vuitton, Maison, the whole shebang. 
and then when you unzip it inside you'll see just more of the red interior except it's just plain it's the more design in the interior pocket so pretty much the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I know we've seen the Neverfull on many videos all over YouTube. So um, I don't know, I think it's an excellent tote. And what's funny about it is that I'm more of a structured bag kind of person, but I decided since I had the Neverfull in the GM size to go ahead and just test it out in the MM size. And I can say that so far, I love it. I love the smell of it. <laughs> I don't know if you like if you did an unboxing, but the smell of the Louis Vuitton purse is amazing. Okay, so the Louis Vuitton never full. Let's go on to the next item. Wait, actually, let's first put it back in this dust bag. And then we can go on to the next item. So the GM size, like I mentioned, is my absolute favorite size. However, I just decided just to downsize, just to try it out and see whether or not I even like this size. If I don't like it, I'll sell it. If I love it, I'll keep it. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that yet. So let's go ahead and do the next box. Then I went to the store really and truly to pick up one item. However, I saw this and I said, this is definitely a must have. And I thought, you know, maybe I can add this to my collection, but technically I already have it in my collection. I know you can't even guess, right? <laughs> so I decided instead of buying something for myself that I would purchase something for someone else. My mother's birthday is coming up. So this gift here is not even for me. This is for her, but I'll just unbox it and show you what's inside. So let's go ahead and take off the ribbon. And then of course I'll wrap it back really, really nicely. Put the ribbon back. And this again is a magnetic closure box. And inside have two dust bags. So let's see, of course a care booklet. And dun, 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 dun. what is my mom getting for her birthday? Let's see. It's the Louis Vuitton sneaker called after game you've seen this in my pre one of my previous videos because i unboxed this and i tried it out for myself i love it so far it's extremely comfortable very supple we can just quickly run over the details very quickly um this is called the technical fabric we have the monogram red floor right there the louis vuitton logo in the very back the back loop made out of the monogram canvas and underneath here you have the logo, Louis Vuitton logo. By the tongue is the Louis Vuitton logo as well. You've seen this in my previous video, but I decided that, you know what, these sneakers are so comfortable that I really wanted my mother. And I think that because she is so deserving of this to be able to experience some luxury wear, some luxury sneakers. She has purses already, however, I think that she should also venture out a little bit into other aspects of Louis Vuitton. So I decided to give this for her for her birthday. So here we go. And it's just the other identical sneaker. Of course, you know, they wrap their items in two different dust bags, which is pretty cool. It'll stay neat for a long time. Of course, with the sneakers, it also has this. We all know what this is. The last video when I unboxed this, I didn't even know what was in here. But in here, as you know, they will have some extra shoelaces. So that's pretty cool too. Okay, well that pretty much sums up my video. I hope you really and truly enjoyed it. I will let you know how I like the Louis Vuitton Never Full in the MM size. You know I love big bags. I'm a big bag girl. So I'm trying out the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the medium size. And I actually can't even wait for my mom's birthday to come up because I can't wait to see the expression on her face when she gets her sneakers. When she gets her sneakers. So that's going to be fun. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Of course, subscribe to it and join my YouTube family. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Yay! <laughs> Shout out to all of you who have been following me all along. And definitely leave a comment or a question in the comment box below. I always get back to you guys no matter what. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Africa Harrigan. Stay beautiful.